What's up, Rage Cage listeners, viewers, whatever you want to call yourself, doesn't matter to me. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about the Cardinals and their surplus of the bench, specifically the outfield. So, at the trade deadline, the Cardinals traded for first baseman slash outfielder Brandon Moss, which seemed like a good trade at the time. Uh, that was a month ago. And last night against the Arizona Diamondbacks, he hit his first home run for the Cardinals, which wouldn't be that big of a deal if we didn't sign him to hit home runs. Okay. And then we called up Stephen Piscotty, our top rated prospect. He has just been smashing the ball. He's hitting for extra base power. He's doubling. He's driving in runs. He's sitting really well with two strikes. He's basically Matt Carpenter's protege when it comes to hit, when it comes to hitting with two strikes. And then you've got Mark Reynolds, or as I or as I like to call him, Whiff, because you know, he tends to strike out a lot. But he was never designed, or we didn't sign him in the offseason to play every day. So I can't discredit him. He's played very well. To this point, I just feel that we've got to change something. And then, you know, you're going to have guys coming back. You're going to have Holiday coming back here in the next couple weeks. He actually gets re reevaluated this weekend. Uh, Matt Adams just got sent down to Jupiter for a rehab. Grichik should be back come playoff time. John Jay should be back come playoff time. Uh... So you've got guys coming back, and I don't know what to do because your bench is Whiff slash Moss, Borges, Greg Garcia, Pete Cosma, Tony Cruz. I think that's it. Now, how are you going to be able to make room when all these guys come back? Oh, and, and Tommy Pham, sorry. Now... I understand here in a few days you're going to have September call-ups and all that. You know, the roster is going to expand. But I still think there's a problem here. We've got too many major league players on our roster, and it's a good problem to have. I would just prefer to not have it and not deal with it. So I think that whenever Holiday comes back, he'll be plugged into left field. I think whenever Gritchick comes back, he's plugged into center. So your outfield then would be Holiday, Gritchick, Hayward. Now comes to the tricky part, the first base spot. So let's say Adams comes back. He's not hitting for much power. He's really not hitting at all. Well, he can slide him to the bench, I guess. And Let's say Piscotty is still hitting the way he's hitting, you know, 316, 320, somewhere in that range, because that's where he's been in 130, 140 at-bats. So, and he's shown that he can play first base. He's only done it a couple times this year, but I would feel very comfortable moving forward with him at first base. But then you have the problem of, you have Reynolds and Moss, too. Now, do you really want to carry, you know, this many people on your bench? Especially come playoff, come playoff time, you're going to have problems. I mean, are you because you need a guy like Peter Borges who can get on base and change the complete aspect of, of a game with his blinding speed. And Adams is going to run into a ball. Reynolds is going to run into a ball. Moss can run into a ball. And you, you've got to carry Cruz. Now, let's not forget... Tommy Pham, he's been tearing it up. John Jay, you're not. If he's ready to go, you can't leave him off the roster. I may not like John Jay personally, but he's an he's a solid defensive center fielder. He's made a couple plays that have made me go, uh, but he's solid. He's a, he is an adequate hitter. For a while, he was our top hitter a couple years ago. So, 
Mike Matheny's got some problems to handle, and I don't know how he's going to handle them, to be quite honest. Oh, and let's not forget Pete Cosma, Greg Garcia. When playoffs come, you've only got 25 spots. It'll be very interesting to see how he ha how he manages his bench. The way I would do it, I would go, I would keep Cruz because you need a catcher. Uh, you're probably gonna want some speed, so you're gonna keep Borges, and then Cosma is a good guy to have because he can provide a lot of pop, or he can play anywhere on the infield. Forget the pop thing; he doesn't run. The man can barely hit. Not, I mean, don't forget what I said in my last video, but. And then you get into, you got two spots left. And I think it's going to come down to what have you done for me lately? Whoever the hottest hitter come playoff time is, is I, who are the two hottest out of Moss, Reynolds, and Adams. Whoever the hottest hitter is there, he's going to roll with them or with the two hottest on his bench. Now he might take Fam just because he can play another outfield position, but so can Reynolds. So, I mean, he... Matheny has a lot of leeway that he can go, so I can't... It's just going to be very interesting. And I think we're set up pretty well for the playoffs. Our starting pitching is good. Bullpen solid. Uh... Other than that, go check out Rage Cage on Facebook. Uh, check us out on YouTube. Step into the cage. I'm Sam Groose.